Hello, welcome back to another video on MBBS Wali Didi. Today is gonna be a little different from all of our previous videos because we're gonna be showing you one of the techniques we learned recently and something that we wish that we had used in MBBS itself not so late in our journey. But we thought, hey, if it didn't work out and we had not learned this earlier, at least we can tell people that this method even exists and that you can use it during MBBS to learn everything that you are struggling with a lot faster and with more revision than you can ever imagine. And it sounds too good to be true, but let me start off and hear me out. The study technique that we have decided to talk about today is something called Anki. Now, for those of you who do not know what Anki is, Anki is a flashcard app that allows you to revise everything you have learned in a method called spaced repetition. Basically, what this means is you will be learning anything you need to read in your textbook and after that you will be creating flashcards in decks so for example surgery would be a deck within this deck you would create flashcards that would ask you or would test you on things that you are easily forgetting if you make it good enough you can't just flashcard everything and make it all about just revising over and over again random facts that you never learned properly you have to read it in the textbook first then you have to understand it if you didn't along with reading the textbook you have to understand what you're reading and then create flashcards on parts of the concept that you are unable to understand or memorize properly so that is what this App helps with these are the two disclaimers I'd like to make before we jump into the video and that is number one we did not do this during MBBS so if it does take you time to make it I'd say invest your time in it but if it's not working out for you it's okay and keep going forward with whatever worked for you this entire time and the second disclaimer we'd like to make is all of this is our experience and our thoughts on how it should have been done which is kind of the purpose of this channel anyway we cannot comment on things that we did not do ourselves right it makes no sense but for Anki, I can say that while I've been studying for step one, this has been a huge, huge help for me because I am someone who does not memorize well. I am good with concepts, I can understand things, I can explain things, but I cannot memorize unless there's a lot of revision going on. And this app helps me personally revise a lot more and a lot faster than I would have been able to before this app. So these are the two things that we just wanted to get out of the way. And now in this video, I will be explaining to you two things. One, how to get started with Anki and two, how to create good cards. I know a lot of Anki users download pre-made decks and use that to memorize, which is great when you have an exam or when you have a material that's already available. But for MBBS, there are usually no cards. I have not seen anything that has applied to MBBS yet. And that's why I'm making this video in the first place. I'm like, let's be the people who create our own decks, who create our own flashcards that are useful to us before we can make sure that a pre-made deck comes out. But this is meant for MBBS students to memorize things that would have been in medicine. So I'm starting off with final year subject. I, I downloaded the PDF of SRB because that's the textbook I read. So I'd like to start off with showing you how to make flashcards on a topic within surgery. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with my first screen recording ever so I hope this is more of a success and that you end up liking this. The first video I'm starting off. Yeah. So I googled how to download Anki because first of all you do need to know how to download Anki onto your laptop. I would suggest you download it onto a laptop for free which is obviously more convenient and if you have an Android phone then you can download Anki Droid app i have never seen it actually but you can download the anki droid app onto your phone for free but the one problem is if you have an ios phone you do have to pay money for it 
I thought it was worth the investment, so I spent it on it. But I think it costs around 2,000 rupees for the app. You can just download it on your laptop because that is probably where you'll be creating most of your flashcards anyway. So I'm going to the Anki website, which is apps.ankiweb.net. It shows me that I can download the latest version onto my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro. But if you have Windows or any other phone, you can go ahead and download it for that once you download it i'm going to a new profile that i created just for anki and that's called the mbbs uh, anki profile because i didn't want to overwhelm you with my step one decks and create a little bit of a hurdle for you so this is how i'm going to be showing you how to create your decks so first thing is you can start with create deck i am creating a deck for surgery right now because uh, i thought that's easier to make videos for because there's a lot more to memorize there pick a subject that you want to start off with you think that you need to memorize a lot of things in so surgery here i've created this deck and once I create this deck, it says congratulations, you have finished this deck for now. And that is because there are zero cards in this deck. So we are going to start off with creating a flashcard. So I'm going to be just showing you how to create a deck, flashcards, and good flashcards that is in this video. So firstly, we're going to start adding flashcards. Try to take a basic card. I, for basic, it's very simple. There's a front and a back for your card. Now I'm going to open up the PDF for SRB. So it's right here. Now that I finally found thrombangitis obliterans, the first thing I can make very clear here is that you see here is it's seen in young and middle-aged males. Is that a fact worth knowing? I think so because the clinical feature. So it makes sense to want to know that. Another thing that you should know is that it's in smokers and tobacco users. A, these are the two important points I see right off the bat. Usually it's the lower limb that in which it starts. Oh, there's a beautiful pathogenesis flowchart going on here. So now, if you really think that you want to know or revise very quickly the pathogenesis of thrombangitis obliterans, I would probably create a flashcard saying, what are the components of smoke that cause for the pathogenesis of TAO? And my back would have carbon monoxide and nicotinic acid. So now, this was a very basic card that I created. But how about we create a little bit of a thing that might be of better quality? Oh, look right here. There is classification of TAO. And there are five types and definitely something I would not never memorize first off. One is upper limb, two is involving legs and feet, type three is femoral popliteal, type four is aortoiliofemorals, and type five is generalized. Let's try to, how about this? I'm going to take a screenshot of the classification of TAO and this will show up on my desktop right now. But for our cards purpose, I am going to say okay i'm gonna change the card to close we want to know what hmm what is type 3 classification of tao and the answer is femoral popliteal so that's gonna be our answer now this is the tough part or not tough but you might need a little bit of experience to get used to this and that is you end up hitting command shift c and this will become a enclosed part of the card and this will not be shown when you open this card and on the back side we're gonna get a screenshot here and every single time i open up this card it's not just going to be that I memorize type 3. I'll also have a classification for everything else in case I forgot type 3. And that's what I'm going to be adding. Now I'm just going to go and show you. Now there's two cards in my surgery deck. And I'm going to be showing you how to 
revise them or show you how it shows up basically what ends up happening is you're gonna open up this card and you're gonna get the question that you asked which was what are the components of smoke that cause for the pathogenesis of TAO and we just read that it was carbon monoxide and nicotinamide so I'm sorry nicotinic acid so you get to see this and the first time you open it you're gonna see that you end up you can say good and you can revise it in 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes. But if the, you thought this was really easy, you can choose to see this card after four days. So that's the advantage you have with Anki. You can pick when you want to see it next and revise it very smoothly. And then the next card, this is what I was talking about. This is different from the other because that just had a front and a back. This will have more than just a front and back. And this is where I'm going to show you how it works. What is type 3 classification of TAO and we're gonna get what was it femoro popliteal and we're gonna get an image of the rest of this to remind us and we can select also again uh, to see this card after 10 minutes and that's going to be where this uh, process becomes streamlined that's it so now we're gonna go back and we see that we studied two cards in one minute today or a lot less than obviously but uh, you get to see how many cards you're studying per day you'll get to see the statistics you'll be able to download the pdf of these statistics you'll see a forecast the review count and the review time now this is a very basic starting off method. As I start, or if you guys want this to be a series about how to study in Anki, we'll try to make it that way. So when you do this consistently, you're gonna end up having 200 cards to review every day. You're gonna have uh, more than that if you want to review a lot of facts very fast, very smoothly. Uh, and things that you thought you would never memorize, you'll be able to memorize a lot faster right now. So I hope this video was of some use to you and I'm gonna hit at the end to my screen recording. And now, I think this video will be of some use to people in UG because hey it's a lot to memorize and this is the first time you're memorizing this much. If you do a good job of it in MBBS things are only gonna get better for you and I'm not saying blindly memorize without understanding the concept oh no 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 I'm telling you learn the concept make sure you understand it make sure you can teach it to someone else then start creating cards on it. You are solidifying what you're learning by creating flashcards on it and revising that regularly. And it does have a bit of a learning curve for me to reach this understanding of Anki. It did take me time, but whether or not it has a learning curve, the advantages, like I said earlier, outweigh the negatives. So I hope you consider giving this new technique a try and let's see thank you so much if you do like videos like this please like share and subscribe we do want to create a new segment or a new um, playlist in our channel where we talk about study techniques especially techniques that we learned very recently that could have applied in mbbs and hopefully you guys will like it um thank you so much for sticking around with us we, we cannot thank you enough so that's bye for now and hope to see you in the next video